Today, I'm going to be talking about a new face generation model called Facelit. This model is really amazing, and it can create 3D relightable faces from 2D images. Yes, you heard me right. You can take any 2D face image and turn it into a 3D face that you can manipulate and relight as you wish. Sounds awesome, right? Well, it is. And I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about it. So sit back and get ready for a mind-blowing journey into the world of neural 3D relightable faces. What is Facelit? Facelit is a face generation model that is developed by researchers from Apple and the University of British Columbia. The model uses a generative framework that can create a 3D face from a single 2D image and render it under different lighting conditions and viewpoints. The model does not require any manual annotation or capture setup. It can produce photorealistic and consistent face images that are comparable or even superior to real photos. How does it work? Facelit works by using a neural volume representation to encode the 3D shape and appearance of a face in a compact and continuous way. A neural volume is a function that maps a 3D point to a feature vector that represents its color and opacity. Facelit learns this function from a large data set of face images using a deep neural network. Facelit also uses a Fong reflectance model to account for the lighting effects on the face surface. A Fong reflectance model is a mathematical formula that describes how light reflects off an object based on its material properties, such as diffuse color, specular color, and shininess. Facelit learns these properties from the input image using another neural network. Facelit then uses a rendering process to synthesize a new face image from the neural volume and the Fong reflectance model under any desired lighting condition and viewpoint. The rendering process involves ray tracing, which is a technique that simulates how light rays interact with objects in a scene. Facelit uses ray tracing to sample the neural volume along each pixel ray and compute its color and opacity using the Fong reflectance model. Facelit trains its neural networks using several loss functions that measure the quality of the generated face images. These loss functions include reconstruction loss, perceptual loss, adversarial loss, consistency loss, and regularization loss. These loss functions ensure that the generated face images are not only realistic and diverse, but also consistent across different lighting conditions and viewpoints. What are the benefits of Facelit? First, the model can generate 3D faces that are not only realistic and diverse, but also relightable and viewable from any angle. This means that you can use the model to create 3D faces for various purposes, such as entertainment, social media, gaming, security, and education. Second, the model is more accurate and robust than previous face generation models. This means that you can generate 3D faces from any 2D face image, even if it is low quality or occluded. Third, the model is available as an open source code on GitHub. This means that anyone can use the model to generate their own 3D faces. What are the limitations of Facelit? First, the model can be slow to generate images. This is because the model has to process a lot of data when generating an image. Second, the model is not perfect. Comparison with other models. There are some other face generation models available, such as StyleGAN 2 ADA and Neural Volumes. The paper suggests that Facelit is more realistic and consistent than StyleGAN 2 ADA, but it is not as diverse or expressive. Facelit is also compared to Neural Volumes, and the paper suggests that it is more accurate and robust than Neural Volumes, but it is not as fast or scalable. Facelit is a very impressive face generation model. It can create 3D relightable faces from 2D images with high quality and consistency. It has many applications in various domains, and it is sure to be used for many purposes in the future. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about neural 3D relightable faces. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos on technology and artificial intelligence.